all right so here we are back with another update on the jet boat progress i got the engine all fitted the whole drivetrain is done and completed uh although the engine right now is just sitting in there the back mount's not even in there that's why it's kind of tilted a little bit in the front there it's sitting on its butt on the bottom of the boat there you can see the one of the mounts here it's uh just quarter inch plate stacks and I didn't even need to shim it at all fit pretty good uh, just did a basic square tubing insert all welded in I also went ahead and welded all the way up the middle seams there you can see and then up at the front here from the previous setup with the 20 horsepower I actually had a bunch of cracks happen over time we boat the ocean and the bay a lot big lakes and rough water and this thing was all cracked to hell up here all the areas there you can see where i welded i had to sister join the center pieces because they were so bad um, when you weld two pieces of aluminum together it's real soft so you actually have to sister it and they don't do that from the factory at any of these seams so had a bit of repair with that strengthened it up a little bit you can see the spoon weld underneath there's the drive shaft tube that wasn't there before that I formed it around a, like a one and a half inch piece of pipe took it off the pipe and then I had to crush fit it a little bit more to get it into the right diameter that I needed and that all lines up good Here's a little mount for the, the tilt and trim motor. Sits there and goes through that hole in the pump flange here. The exhaust, I actually had to modify it from original. All this stuff's the original piping, the purple pipes. Um, it was too long, so I had to cut it a piece off the rear of it and then re-weld a cap plate on there. And then this whole portion on the OEM setup, this whole section here was all rubber. And the way it fit in this boat, it was going to stick up above the boat deck real high, and I didn't want to go with that, so I ordered some angle pieces and welded up a custom unit. So you can see this piece is all one piece on the, the factory muffler, and then I used a piece of the OEM uh, exhaust hose and then down there there's a little 90 fitting where it connects on it's welded to the boat that came out real clean pleased with that here's a shot of the the tailpipe I have one angle left over I might actually take and weld on another 90 so it it points the exhaust stream into the water so it'll be as quiet as we can get it. There's a shot of the inside of the intake unit. Grates installed down there. Like I said, it's it's not all bolted in, but the drivetrain is completed. I went ahead and uh, sealed all the welds on the intake that I set in here. Uh, I used 5200 caulk just to be safe. I don't want to be dealing with leaks that I'm sure would have happened if I didn't do this so I, I just went ahead and eliminated all that before the first water test so it's one less thing to have to worry about so yeah next video there's gonna be some battery trays that I made up I'll be sticking these in, uh, the deck bracing, the frame for the deck is what I'm starting on now, so uh, yeah, thanks for checking in, and we'll catch you on the next one.